I recently bought myself a new multimeter from Amazon. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It was nice that batteries were included. At first, I couldn't find where they went. But then I realized the green rubber cover is removable. I also struggled for a moment with the test leads. I was trying to pull off this barrel section, not this little cap. The instruction manual looked a little intimidating, but it's because it is actually five manuals in different languages. This multimeter is different than the ones I'm used to using. Most meters have a dial where you select what you want to test, ohms, DC volts, AC volts, etc. This thing has smart measurement. Okay, to turn it on, you press and hold the red button. Now it's on. If you want to have this screen backlit, Press this button once. Can you tell that's backlit? See? If you hold that same button, a flashlight comes on. You see that? Okay, flashlight off, backlight off. Now, see how it says auto? You just take your test leads and test what you want to test and it just knows so say you want to test your house voltage looks like I got 121.2 volts and right there it says AC volts you see that? Now I brought you in closer. See it knows it's AC and it's measuring volts. And the little dial up here is also pointing to AC voltage. Let's try this 9 volt battery. You see it says 8.12. A nice feature is this hold button right here. So I'm testing this 9 volt battery. If I hit hold, I can take away the test leads and the display holds my reading. So here you see the H for hold, 8.11 volts DC. That way I can take a good look at it, maybe write it down, show somebody, whatever. And then when you want to clear it, you just hit it again. This is the battery to my camera. It says 3.6 volts. It's got plus and minus. Let's see what we get. I'll hit the hold. Four point one five volts DC. And you also tell from the dial up here that it's pointing at the the DC voltage. The meter makes a sound and gives a light for continuity. There's a sound, and there's the light running underneath the logo. See it? Do it again. Let's check these fuses. This green one should be good. Good. And this blue one should be bad. Yeah, see, no beep, no light, no nothing.
This meter also has something called a non-contact voltage detector. For this you don't use the leads and you press and hold this button until NC, I guess that's supposed to be a V, shows up on the screen. Instead of using leads, this section right here is the NCV sensing area. See that? So if you bring this up to an outlet in your house, it tells you that outlet is live. It's saying green light, and that's a, a weak AC voltage signal. I noticed if I brought it to the cord, I get a high red light, high AC voltage signal. So that's sort of a non-contact way to check if an outlet is live. I guess that could be handy. Here's the manufacturer's specifications for the TM510. I think the price and features make this multimeter ideal for a casual user like me. If you're a serious electrical hobbyist or need a meter for work, there are probably better choices. I like the smart measurement feature. It seems to work well in the limited testing I've done. I hope this review was helpful. Thanks for watching.